became a mess Don't know how I got here but I'm blessed Didn't know it take me past my destiny You're behind me with the rest Cuz I'm a mess No more you Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is part one of two of deep cleaning, decluttering, and organizing my bathroom. I had to make this a two-part video because it took me forever, plus I had so much footage, so I hope you guys enjoy this extreme deep cleaning, decluttering, and organizing. In this video, part one, I will be focusing on deep cleaning, taking everything out of the bathroom, cleaning every nook and cranny and surface, plus patching up some drywall, fixing the caulk in the bath, and doing a little bit of painting on the trim just to make it look nice and fresh. Then in part two, next week I will be decluttering and organizing everything I'm taking out of the bathroom right now. I could not believe how much stuff was crammed into this tiny little bathroom. And the last time I decluttered and organized in here was one year ago. The reason I know that is because my son, Wyatt, just turned one. And the last time I did this, he was about a week old. So I end up doing this only about once a year because my bathroom is so small small it takes me such a long time and this is the main bathroom that my family uses so it does make it a little bit more difficult plus have you ever tried to deep clean declutter and organize with three kids a four-year-old a two-year-old and a one-year-old it's nearly impossible but it was that time it needed to get done so here we are if you have anything that you need to tackle in your home and you've been putting it off let's do it together if you enjoy this type of real life mom life cleaning motivation and homemaking motivation I hope you'll subscribe to my channel if you haven't already as you can see the very first thing we're doing in this bathroom is just taking every single thing out that way we can deep clean without anything getting in the way and next video when we declutter and organize everything is already out in the living room for me to go through quickly and efficiently without me having to bring stuff out a little bit at a time clean a little bit take more stuff out so this I found was the easiest way to do this bathroom Now that everything has been taken out of the bathroom, we're going to start deep cleaning, starting with the walls. I'm going to wipe down all of the walls because the bathroom is small and there's lots of small spaces. I will not be using the normal wall cleaner that I have been using, the Zep spray foam stuff and the sponge with the handle that you wipe down the wall with. Instead, this time I'm going to be using my Young Living's Thieves Cleaner and a microfiber cleaning cloth, making sure I get every space possible.
It was kind of peeling away and looking really bad, so I just took it out and redid it myself. I didn't do a great job. I definitely wouldn't hire me, but I'm glad to have it done. Now that that is done, we are going to move on to mudding this area of my wall. It just looked terrible, it needed to be redone, so I decided to do it for the first time ever in my life. I watched one video on it and my husband told me what to do and I just went for it. I feel like it turned out pretty well, I still need to sand it, but I'll do that in next week's video.
Moving on to painting the trim in this little area underneath these cabinets. They desperately needed it. You saw me wipe them down and they still look so bad and so dirty. So I decided again to pull out my trim and cabinet paint and get this done and get these cleaned up and looking fresh again. I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around so little and we keep track of time being so serious idiots thinking it will matter keep me company downtown before the clock runs out sun is shining but the rain is welcome to friends are nearby don't need another view time is not on my mind but then it's you oh All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady, cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up no, no. It feels like I'm lying every time Someone ask how it goes And I save the details that actually mean something mm -hmm. As always, this made such a huge difference in my bathroom. I love painting trim because of the difference in the transformation that happens. Now I'm moving on to cleaning the shower and the tub with one of my favorite cleaners. You guys know I love Barkeeper's Friend. It works amazing. I'm cleaning the shower walls using the soft cleanser and the tub with the powder just because I feel like it works a little bit better on the stains in the tub. And the soft cleanser is much easier to squirt on the walls rather than trying to sprinkle the powder on the walls. That really doesn't work very well. I also got this shower scrubber from Amazon. I'll link it in the description as well as in my Amazon storefront. It worked amazing. It's very similar to the thing I used to wash my walls in previous videos except this has a hard scrubbing sponge on it and I loved it. feels so good to have my tub looking nice and shiny white again. Moving on to wiping down the mirror, the sink, the toilet, and the vanity, then scrubbing the inside of the toilet. Stole my time and I live my life 
crazy and all so lazy But you should meet me and my friends Even though we got no money For sure it's all funny Yeah, everything's better with them We're just like, ooh, ooh after wiping down all of those areas, I grabbed a new microfiber cleaning cloth. That way I'm not contaminating anything because I feel like that would be really gross to go from toilet to floor. Similar to the wall situation, I feel like the floor has lots of nooks and crannies and small areas, which is why I'm not using a mop or a vacuum, and instead getting on my hands and knees with my Young Living's Thieves Cleaner, making sure I wipe down every area possible on the floor, then vacuuming up any debris that I had swept into a pile. Again, I don't want to go from floor to cabinet this time, so I grabbed a brand new microfiber cleaning cloth and I'm going to wipe down this gross cabinet. This was like seriously bad. Like I said, it had not been cleaned, decluttered, or organized in about a year now and it just desperately needed it. I'm so happy to have this area clean. That is all for today's bathroom deep cleaning video. I hope you enjoyed it. It motivated you and inspired you to clean your space. Like I mentioned at the beginning, next week in part two, we will be focusing more on the decluttering and organizing aspect of this, as well as finishing up any loose ends. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, and I hope you'll subscribe to my channel if you haven't already.